Right. Well, I brought this up in my last interview with Keefe, and he denied it. He said that he wasn't going to set anybody up, including Von Zip, and that he wasn't going along with this. Uh, self-serving statements. I mean, he signed up as an LAPD informant, and that's all. That's all got a you know paper trail. So you have an actual signed piece of paperwork, yeah, saying that I'm. I have, I, I have his flight receipts from the from the trip. Yeah, I, have, I think you sent those to me. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's very obvious we were out there for that reason. Uh, okay, and I remember interviewing. You know, since our last interview, I interviewed Mike Tyson, who was also friends with Eric Von Zip. And he told me the story on camera about how they essentially robbed Don King of a big bag of money. <laughs> they did it kind of smoothly, but, but Eric Von Zip basically got the bag and then managed to get Don King out the room. And then they had this big bag of money, which they went and just spent. We went ahead story about Zip. So one day Don comes and tries this shit with me, put me around $600,000 and, and in the bag. And you know, believe it or not, Six hundred thousand dollars heavy. I know you guys think if he told you guys grabbing bags like um Tony Montana come in there, they're not grabbing bags like that. Fuck it, Zip took Zip took like six tip, took the six hundred thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. From who? From Dom, and he came in with the money. He's trying to do something, and then Zip said, "Zip thought let's come, let's come back later and we'll talk about that." He's walked him out the door. He said, "Hey man, let me get some of that money to pay some people. I got to pay some people." <laughs> WBC, the dog, the dog, come back. He's come back. And Zip, you never met Zip, have you? I haven't. No. Zip is such a gentleman. It's, dog, it's, please come back. Zip. Not right now. Now he's, he's just not feeling well. Dog, click, click, bye. <laughs> and then we're thinking about it like, "Wow, we gotta have a party. Let's get some bitches. Let's get everything. We gotta do it tonight." That's seven hundred thousand dollars right there. So, so Eric has a history of robbing people. He's a hustler. He's, He's a, a hustler. New York street hustler, right? <laughs> that's and actually that's a funny story. So, I spoke to TK Kirkland about this whole situation, and I because the story, according to Keefe, was that Puffy paid a million dollars for the murder of Tupac, and that money was supposed to go to Eric Von Zip, who in turn was going to hand it over to Keefe. Yeah, that was the understanding that Keefe had. There's two versions of the story that I'm aware of. One was that, you know, the, the total amount was paid. And then the other version is that only half the amount was paid because Suge was still alive. And hmm. so, you know, it was, it was supposed to be for both of them. Only half the job was done. This is the theory. And so therefore only half the money was forwarded. And then once Zip got his hands on it, he just, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to tell Keefe D that, you know, the money's been paid. So that's the story. Right. Now, now Keefe D claims that two separate people had told him in confidence that the money was paid. People that would be in a position to know. Uh, one of them being a guy named Darius Rogers, D-Mag. And then another guy, I think he mentions a guy's name named Gregory Kane, mm. K-A-N-E. He says those two people had informed him that the money was paid. So whether it's all true or not, I have no idea, but that's the story. Right. Well, I, I do know, based on my interviews with TK, was that around that time, I'm not exactly sure if the timeline is perfect, but around that time, Eric Von Zip bought a nightclub. Puffy allegedly sent him a million dollars. They sent it to Eric Von Zip, mm -hmm. and the story was that Eric Von Zip kept the money. Right. I heard he bought a nightclub. Right, he did. He did buy yeah, a nightclub. He did. Ah, so that part's true. Yeah, yeah, because zip code. Zip code. <laughs> <laughs> it's called zip code. Yep. Where was it? Um, in Harlem. In Harlem. <laughs> Puffy's hometown. Yeah, he had Harlem. He had, well, well, not um, Puffy's dad's hometown. Yeah, he had a place up in the Bronx, another club in the Bronx. So kind of you're coincidental. Kinda, coincidentally. <laughs> you know, and yeah. when you look at the price of launching a nightclub, half a million will probably get you there. So... It's hard to say, you know, I've heard rumors that there are, you know, some sort of paper trail when it comes to deposits from Diddy or something. I don't know whether it's true or not. I've never heard this. Um, with Eric Von Zip being dead, I don't think whether you could really prove this on any level. Yeah, I don't think so. Right, because you and I have talked about this before, and I, I get this question a lot, is, you know, do you think that Diddy could somehow be dragged into this case criminally? I've always said no. 
I agree with you. Yeah, I don't see how it could happen. Not based on the testimony of just Keefe D. Right, because he's going to try to say it, but th does his words really hold any weight at this time? Not when you look at the monumental task of trying to prosecute a music icon, a multi-million, you know, close to a billion dollar. You know, you're talking about a, a defense team that will be very difficult to overcome that would uh, be representing Huffy. And your only person on the stand is Keefe D. Who's just, <laughs> that's your star witness. That's basically. your star witness. Yeah. Right. Good luck with that.